As the economy slashes family incomes, affording college gets more difficult. Renetta Dubos is here now to tell us how financial aid numbers look at Purdue University. Renetta? Well, Jeff, more students than ever before are requesting financial aid to attend Purdue. The Division of Financial Aid Director um, Joyce Hall says it's due to widespread layoffs. I appreciate you. 800 <laughs> applications have rolled into Purdue's financial aid office from students whose parents have no job. Joyce Hall says any job change in the family means more aid. We've had a 80 percent, almost an 81 percent increase in appeals from uh, families for changes in like their family income situation, and that would be due mostly to the recession. Hall says last year at this time, 33,408 students filed for financial aid. This year, the office has already surpassed that number with 36,302 filers, an 8.5 percent increase. Sophomore Kirk Wakefield says he returned to college while trying to raise a family, so he needs financial help, but is having trouble getting it. I am not um, eligible for things like a lot of grants and uh, uh, special incentives because I have one degree, so they look at it as though, well, how come you're not using that? Why are you going back for a second degree? The financial aid office is not expecting long lines to form in here until about August. That's a few weeks after the Bursar's office sends out bills to all of the filers. That's when some students will realize they need more financial aid. It's necessary to apply for the maximum amount. Junior Carissa Brown says she needs as much aid as she can get as she is paying for college on her own. My dad's going back to school full time, so he's got his own tuition to pay for. Plus, I have an older brother who's in college, and they've helped him quite a bit. And if I'm able to take care of myself, I'd prefer to do so. State Student Assistance Commission of Indiana Executive Director Claudia Brayman says eight requests across the entire state are up 32 percent. That's 60,000 more applications than last year. Like others, her office is waiting on legislators to pass a budget to determine how much state aid can be awarded. Renetta DuBose, News Channel 18.